of all the different campaign promises for the world to Mexico will pay for it. This is the executive order that attempts to set that plan in motion. Uh, in terms of the wall itself, uh, the specifics provide that there, uh, there should be plans to start building a border wall and provision of resources for the wall. Of course, we know that Congress has the appropriate funds for that to move forward in any meaningful way. Uh, the second subpart of the border wall are two points. There is a massive expansion of immigration detention at the border uh, in the and in the interior. Here again, the executive order is very vague in terms of the specifics, but the general language uh, suggests a broad expansion of the use of immigration detention for people who are at the border, as well as people who are in removal proceedings or deportation proceedings in the interior. Uh, the third point is an expansion of expedited removal. Expedited removal is a process by which somebody can be deported from the United States without ever seeing an immigration judge. Right now, that applies close to the border, typically within 100 miles of the border, um, and within 14 days of entry. The executive order suggests that that will be expanded uh, to the maximum extent allowed by law. What that means is anybody's guess, uh, but the maximum extent is defined by the statute and it could be possible that the government will try to expand this expedited removal, removal without due process, to the interior of the United States. And that would cause an immense tragedy if you think about all of the people we know who are in the U.S. without paper. Uh, the, the, the consequences could be really, really tragic. Another uh, portion of the 